Yes. Now, urine bladder part two. In this part, we'll discuss about the external feature of the urine bladder. First of all, external feature of the empty urine bladder. As you know, empty urine bladder is like this. It is tetrahedral in shape. It has apex. So you, you can see it has apex. It has base. This part here, is, this part is base. This is base. This is apex. This is base. And it has three surfaces and four borders. If you see here, from the inferior side, if you see from inferior side, you will find this is like this. Here is position of the neck of the urinary bladder. So this is from apex to the neck. This is anterior border. This is anterior border, and here this is lateral border. So this is lateral border. The right and left lateral border and this is posterior surface here is position of the ureter so this is apex this is base and this is anterior border this is lateral border and here is posterior border. Surfaces are here is these two surfaces are inferolateral surfaces. These surfaces are inferolateral surfaces, and this is superior surface. So, so right and left inferolateral surface and superior surface. Posteriorly, this posterior surface is the base. So it has apex, base or posterior surface, right and left inferolateral surface and superior surface. In case of empty bladder in the adults, if bladder is full like this, then external feature will be changed. Here in this diagram you can see this surface this is position of the apex, here is base and this surface is anterior inferior surface and this surface is posterior superior surface. So it has apex, base, anterior inferior surface and posterior superior surface. Here, this anterior inferior surface is related to anterior abdominal wall, this part here. So, this is external feature of the urinary bladder in case of empty urinary bladder and full urinary bladder. This is part two. Thank you.